Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the search assistant feature in your Chromebook. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by selecting the clock icon in the bottom right corner of our system shelf. And then you want to select the settings icon. Let's go ahead and select that. It should be a little gear shaped icon. And now on the left side, you want to select the main menu button. Three horizontal lines is what indicates that. And now you want to select search and assistant on the left side. Where it says Google Assistant, you want to go left click on that and then toggle this to the on position by clicking inside this oval one time to turn it on. So then at this point where it says OK Google, if you want to make it respond to your voice, you're going to have to set this to the on position. So click inside the drop down, set on which is recommended or always on depending on what you want to do and then you would also have the functionalities of allowing it to show notifications when different things pop up as well as preferred inputs so if you want to use your voice instead of keyboard you can go switch it to that option so whichever one you prefer and again you can modify notifications as well as if you wanted to respond to your voice and if you go underneath Google Assistant settings here you can click on that you can see more information about what it wants to respond or report on. So your places, weather, conditions, activity, and then you can go underneath assistant here. So it gives you different maybe navigational features here, travel mode. And again, assistant devices shows what's currently linked to this account. And then services, you can see notes and list, music, calendar, and assignable reminders. So pretty much as a personal assistant as the name implies. But pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to get that going. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.